What is up, my Wookiees? It's Dr. Wookie coming to you to talk to you about something vitally important. It's about the founder nodes and the vote that is coming up. This is probably the most important vote for uh, the founder nodes to date. Uh, be sure to stick through the whole thing. We have so much to discuss and things that are very important. And you and I can make a difference to how this vote goes down. So obviously stay tuned through the whole thing. Let's jump right in. So this Excel was uh, put out uh, by Bitbender along with the uh, essentially the article that goes over why we're doing this. I'm sure Bitbender put in a lot of work on this, so uh, be sure to give it a read. However, the big things we are talking about is essentially uh, how this logarithmic scale is going to affect bonus points. So the bonus pool is basically gone uh, or replaced by this. What this is essentially, let's be honest, is staking. You can now stake your gala more or less by uh, not minting your gala on your founder node, okay? So it's only for founder nodes. Um, so here's the Excel, okay? The your data, variables to play with, the having schedule. Uh, variables to play with, we don't really need to mess with this too much. This is if you really wanna randomize some things and take a guess on what kind of uh, numbers are gonna come out. But let's keep it nice and simple. And then of course the having schedule, this is how much the total supply and when things will be cut and the node emissions that comes out. So your data. So if you have one node, of course, you're gonna get your one base point every day. Let's be very clear about this, okay? You always are gonna get your base point. That means the 7,000 node accounts will get 7,000 base points. However, after day one, you get an additional point, okay? So now, when you come to day two, when the distribution goes out, you're gonna have uh, your base point of one, plus your one point from the day before, and now an additional point. So now you have three points towards your distribution, okay? And so you can play with this and see how many points you can get if you, let's say, you do not mint any gala at all and you just kind of basically, like I said, stake or compound. And uh, you have 90 days. Of course, you're going to have 91 distribution points. That's because you have 90 points from all the previous days before. And so when you go in for the distribution that day, you're gonna go in with 91 points. And of course it depends on everybody else. If not a single other human being has minted or changed their points in any way, shape or form, then of course the approximate gala per day you're gonna get is gonna be very uh, similar from day to day to day until people start minting and changing things around, okay? Now where it gets interesting is of course, let's go ahead and put in just two nodes. Lots of people own two nodes. So so if you go ahead and plug in two nodes, basically at the end of the day, you earn 1.72 points. So obviously that's uh, you know a fair amount less. It's a whole like, um, what, 25% less than your other uh, node owner who has one node. And of course on this logarithmic scale, as you kind of increase and you go up, it's gonna keep decreasing. So if you have five nodes, you're gonna get your five distribution points, okay? That base point stays the same, let's be clear about that. But you're gonna get an additional four points every day. That's the one point less, right? Than if you had five separate nodes on five different accounts. Everybody's commenting, you know, what if uh, people make other accounts, move their nodes there? Well, when the nodes are NFTs, some of that is probably gonna happen. But of course, if you own 7,000 nodes, uh, you might just end up selling them. Here's the logarithmic scale, okay, that is currently proposed. Um, you know, this is a one to one is for the just single node owners. And then as you completely increase, it decreases. Look what happens to the two 7,000 node uh, holding accounts, 22 points. That's all they get. That is crazy uh, nuked essentially for them. So let's look over here where uh, I made my own little uh, Excel. So you can see 7,000 nodes. After one year, if they did not mint anything and a person with seven nodes, I, I did this so it's easy math, they would only be earning eight and a half times more than the seven node owner. They should be earning a thousand more, right? So it'd only be eight and a half. So essentially the 7,000 is getting nuked. Uh, if it was 90 days, it'd be 20 times more than the seven nodes. Still still getting nuked essentially, right? The, the big nodes. The whole point of this is distribution, right? And they want everything distributed, uh, decentralized across the uh, gala chain. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I think it should be, okay? Bitbender has made it clear that this is a discussion this week and that things can change. So if you agree with me on this number or you agree with me at all, 
Let's go ahead and just put this number out a bunch in the Discord and maybe we can get it changed. I think the number shouldn't be 5.7. I think it should be 6.5. And this is why if you go ahead and do a logarithmic scale with 6.5, if you own two nodes, you get 1.96 points. That is super close to almost uh, two to two, right? And if you own five nodes, uh, it's 4.54. Reason I'm saying this is because you know, if somebody had, let's say, 50 nodes and they were going to do the whole split up game, you know, and try to multi account, um, you know, they might do five nodes in like 10 accounts, right? Instead of trying to split them up completely. Because let's be honest, it is going to be a pain in the butt uh, setting up that many accounts. I mean, that'd be like 50 different emails. You'd have to set up all the emails to forward you with the node network down notifications. Oh man, what a pain. Now, we'll say, the biggest probably negative to this is it's going to make the NFT prices for uh, the founder nodes lower. Uh, the positive is, is you know what? You might get some new blood in. However, if you're like me and you made the uh, horrible decision of uh, buying founder nodes at the during the peak of the bull run, I guess I shouldn't say horrible. I do like my founder nodes. I just know uh, that I could have got more founder nodes or, uh, you know, like when they become NFTs, they're going to be a lot cheaper than when I bought them. Let me just say that. But with this new logarithmic scale, 6.5, we would see 25 points for the 7,000 node owners. So it's really not that much different from like the 21, 22. And it's really a, a lot nicer, and a lot softer on the people with just a couple nodes. Um, and I think this would really uh, make people really inclined to go ahead and vote yes on this. The other thing that we need to discuss is these bonus points. I absolutely think they should increase your chances of NFT drops as well. What I mean by that is if you've been holding your gala for 365 days, I think you should get 365 extra points during the distribution uh, at the chance to for NFTs, right? Because essentially you're making the ecosystem healthy. Uh, you're keeping stuff locked. Obviously, all this stuff being locked. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about a little Gala price at the end here. Um, everything being locked is going to obviously increase the value of Gala token, especially when it becomes more scarce because people are just simply holding it. Now, some common questions I do want to show you. Minting will be to the Gala chain. Hallelujah. That's because obviously it would be freaking expensive if you're trying to do like every day one point minting 100 Gala. Uh, to ETH, that would suck. So yeah, at one point to mint 100 gala is what the number comes out to. Obviously, if you're playing it smart, you hold for like 180 days and then you just like cash out everything and just burn it all the way to zero and then re you know restart your staking. Um, there is infinite staking, okay? That means you can go over and over and over. We should do some numbers and see four years, like uh, what that looks like and how many uh, you know points you could be taking. Okay, node emissions will automatically change with the tranches. This includes unminted gala. This is super important. What this means is even though you are have a 365 days worth of unminted gala, that all counts towards the total supply. Okay? Super important to understand. The reason being is because we can't go over the 50 billion when we have it set up this way. So thank you, Gala, for setting this up. And the distro will be different, way different every day, depending on who's minting, who's staking, who's changing things around. And then, of course, remember, the base points are staying the same. Now, if you're running your nodes, I do have to mention Rack Nerd because I'm going to show you the best freaking deal out there right now. Fourth of July deal. Yes, 48 bucks for an entire year. Okay, that comes out to like, what, four bucks a freaking month? So when you click into that, that uh, July 4th, you go, you click the right one. You're going to go ahead and choose Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, choose whatever, wherever you want. I don't care, Chicago, Dallas. Okay, you're going to click continue. When you get to this next page, please do me a favor. This will benefit you in the future. Type Dr. Wookie. Click validate code. Now, this isn't going to take a specific price off this one because the the deal's already crazy. But if anything changes in the future, you get a 30% recurring discount. You can see that right there. And you're saying, hey, thanks, Dr. Wiki, for showing me this crazy freaking great deal uh, for when I kind of switch stuff around or move nodes around. I have had no issues with Racknerd. I've used Vulture in the past, and I promise you Racknerd has been as stable, if not more stable than Vulture. Okay, that's my little pop out there. So the second part of this uh, beautiful Excel spreadsheet that we have here, you can go ahead and click down here to sample data. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and just kind of ignore a lot of this stuff on the right. It's basically just trying to give you like samples of what is going on, okay? 
What I want you to focus on is the nodes and you're able to count all the way down how many nodes have been running lately. Essentially, the total nodes comes out to 37,391. The total nodes that have five nodes or more, I said that because I figured anybody below five nodes will definitely vote yes on this, is 23,000 nodes. Now, you, this is confusing to you, right? Total nodes five plus with no 14K. What I mean by that is, you know, up here, the, the nodes, we have 7,000 and 7,000, these two uh, accounts. We know one is Benefactor. The other person, we have no idea who it is, or I don't at least, but we can guarantee they did not probably pay for these nodes, right? So I'm assuming Benefactor is in favor of this. Otherwise, why would he let this push through? Which means these 7,000 are gonna vote yes, and I'm gonna guess the other one will vote no. So let's just go ahead and pretend that they're gonna totally cancel each other out. So when they cancel each other out, there are only 9,021 node votes that have five or more, and there's total nodes of four or less, 14,370. So that gives us a vote difference of plus 5,300. Um, so obviously this is just my math real quick. So I'm assuming that this probably will pass because obviously we will be making a massive amount more gala. Even if you have five nodes, you will still make more because these 7,000 and 7,000 nodes, they're not gonna be making that much when we are really, really starting to drive out there. Um, and essentially they're, you know, 1.4 million they get per day right now is gonna keep getting slashed and distributed among everyone else, which of course everybody wants uh, for the gigantic whales to not be just eating up all the gala and having such huge effect on the market. Now the gala price, we got to discuss this. What is this gonna do to the gala price? 100%, I believe, if this passes the gala price, in my opinion, will probably dip initially because of the fear with the whales and everything else. And if they like sell out or they get scared. And then from then on with all the people that are going to be holding like me, I'm going to be like, oh man, can I see, can I get to 365, right? Especially if we're in the bear, I'm just going to let it cook and cook and cook, right? That's going to make Gala more and more rare and more and more difficult to obtain for people as we start to blow up, which we've already seen today with uh, uh, Rep and the social network platform. All these huge connections they're making. I really do think Gala is going to be a beast in the next bull run. Uh, definitely take a look at that altcoin daily interview with Bitbender Brink. So my friends... I have gone through this as best as I can. Uh, send me questions. I'll be in the Discord. Let's talk. Uh, maybe we could set up a live session at some point as well. But I will let you decide how you want to vote. Obviously, I don't have a lot of nodes, so it's pretty clear how I'm going to vote. Uh, I do think it's going to benefit the ecosystem significantly. So, my friends, stay warm, Wookiees. Mm -hmm.